Hello, I am here with you today to share some steps about how to start and build a six and seven figure real estate investing business. A lot of people I talk to who are a lot like myself uh, before I got started, they have very big goals and aspirations for what they want to do. They want to start a business. They want to get involved in real estate investing but don't really know how. And I kind of had a similar thought. I knew I wanted to do it, but it was intimidating. I didn't know how to get started. So I'm gonna share the basic steps for how to get that up and running. So number one is you need to get educated. Now there are many different ways to do that. I chose to find a great education program. So I did my research, found an education a group for real estate investing, started taking classes, and that is how I got my education. You can also learn from, you know, learning yourself, the school of hard knocks. That is not what I recommend doing uh, because for me, time is very valuable. So that is the longest way to go about things, but that's definitely a way that some people have learned real estate investing, but that's also a costly way. What you don't know can cost you the most money. If you're not educated, mistakes can cost you thousands and uh, can really be detrimental. So definitely recommend getting educated and finding the right program for you. A real estate investing education is going to teach you those fundamentals of doing deals. First of all, you need to learn how to run numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. I cannot stress that enough. Being confident with the numbers and the financial analysis is really going to give you the confidence you need to make offers on properties and to know that you're making an educated decision. So that is absolutely key is knowing the numbers. You need to go go find deals. You need to know how to find off-market properties and there's a lot of different ways to do that. So an education is gonna teach you how to find the deals and then what else do we need to know? How to fund those deals. Are you going to use private lenders? Are you gonna do an equity structure or a debt structure? Are you gonna do subject to deals, owner financing? So understanding what options there are for you and what you wanna focus on is going to be key. Once you've funded the deals, now you need to know how to execute and exit those transactions. Are you gonna be doing wholesale deals? Are you gonna fix and flip? Are you gonna do rentals and lease options? So really understanding how to execute that strategy and part of that is putting together your team, which education will also teach you how to do. So an education is going to get you through those steps faster than learning yourself. And that is what I chose to do, so it's helped me build a business much faster than somebody who wants to learn on their own. So I actually went to pick up a check from one of my fix and flip deals. I'll share this with you here and make sure I cover up the numbers. So this is a fix and flip uh, check that I picked up today. If you can see it, it's for 125,000 to my fix and flip company. So super excited about this. This fix and flip check puts my fix and flip business over six or at six figures in net profit in the last 30 days, okay? And guys, I have not been doing this 10, 20, 30 years. I have been doing fix and flips for three years. So because of the education, I've been able to build this type of business. And so you can too, if you're willing to be teachable, get educated and go out and take action on what you learn. Of course, everybody's results are gonna be different, but you're the key, okay? Once you have that education, now it's very crucial to set goals for yourself. When do you wanna do your first deal? And how many deals do you need to do to, uh, to meet your financial goals for what you wanna do, okay? So set your goals and don't, write them down and tuck them in a book and look at them every six months. You want your goals right out in front of you so you can see them and be pumped up about accomplishing those. So once you've got your goals, you need to set action steps. How are you gonna get there? And you may not know that right now, but with a proper education, you'll be able to create those action steps to actually go out there and get deals done. Okay, you've got the action steps, you've found your deals, you've funded them, you've done all that fun stuff. Now you need to evaluate the deal. What could you have done better? What did you do really well? So once you evaluate, then you want to tweak your process so that it's better the next time. 
once you tweak, you've got your flow, um, you've got that consistency for how you want to do your deal, then you want to set up automation to help things get more consistent. And then it is rinse, wash, and repeat. So keep going through that process, keep getting educated, tweaking what you're doing to make it better, and um, so many great things can come to you. So I hope that helped, especially for some of you who may be sitting on the sidelines uh, wishing you had a business or wishing you were involved in real estate. It does take time, it does take effort, but it's definitely very doable. You don't have to be a rocket scientist, you just have to be willing to go out there, take action, and follow processes. So hope this helped. I am going to head out and go cash this uh, bad boy where the check go. I lost it. Anyways, I better find that before I get to the bank. I'm going to go cash that and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for visiting me today. Bye.